Welcome back everybody to my channel. Hi, I'm Riz with the Blade, your personal mission guru, and today we're gonna show you and teach you how to properly and efficiently use ATLS, which is the mechanical tractor beam suit, which we now have in the game, inside your C2 Hercules cargo ship. A lot of players have problems with this and they were complaining, you know, how to actually use this thing in uh, at least these big ships like like C2 and again normally it's all about you know logical thinking and knowing how the mechanic works when you're using the ATLS and one more thing is what is important to know that you're not supposed to use this ATLS uh, mechanical tractor beam suit in small ships there just use normal big tractor beam which is you know handheld tractor beam Let's show you now what problems you can have with ATLS inside C2 and show you how to properly use ATLS and show you what boxes you should choose when you're buying a cargo. And yes, this is very important. So let's begin. What I'm showing you now here first is how you're not supposed to put the boxes in the front part of C2. So C2 has two grids smaller which is in front and bigger one which is in the back and yes you can put 32 su boxes on both of them but you're not supposed to put 32 su boxes in the front one which is smaller one. and now you're gonna see why so when you're taking these boxes which are 32 and you want to put them inside from uh, forward to back position like you see it here on this blueprint they're gonna start to hit these boxes which are on the side and now if i want to place that correctly you're supposed to actually switch your uh, atls on the other side on the right side of the ship and do the same thing then you could maybe possibly put it in but even if you do that and uh, you want to place these uh, boxes on the second row up like last one so you can fit six boxes there it's not gonna you know let you do it because you need to be extremely accurate and you can't be 100 percent accurate because you cannot move the box in the air how you want to because that's automatic placement so you, you cannot do whatever you want with that box ATLS is not designed for that. So let's show you and teach you how you're supposed to do it. First thing, you need to choose which boxes you're gonna use. And this is that thing what is most important, that for the first grid, you know, which is smaller grid in the C2, you need to choose 24 SU boxes, the size, not 32. Because 24, you can put uh from like left to right horizontal towards front so they're not gonna be from front to back they're gonna be from left to right if that would be like uh 32 su boxes you need uh, six of them right but if it's 24 you need eight of them so it's only two more so that's not a huge difference between these two packages of boxes and now what is concerned uh the back side of the grid in the c2 you just use 32 the biggest ones and you need 14 of them. All that together is 640 SU, which is not the max capacity for the grid, but this last 56 SU, you're not supposed to mess with that because then you need to use two SU boxes and keep uh, putting them on the end of each grid. Let's show you now how this is supposed to look like when you're using ATLS inside the C2. First, what we're gonna do, we're gonna first choose to put out in the freight elevator only 24 SU boxes so it's eight of them so this is first what you need to do because you're gonna load them first into C2 what is concerned C2 just park it directly uh, backwards towards the freight elevator so he's gonna uh, face directly middle of freight elevator but don't go too close because the ceiling of the freight elevator is very low now we're going inside with our ATLS and we're going to place it here exactly in this uh, where the ramp is starting and the actual floor in C2 is ending. 
exactly in the corner here and this is very good placement but one thing what you need to know is that if you see this like hydraulics which are holding and actually you know uh, putting up and down the whole ramp in the c2 in the back they're actually in the way of your tractor beam so basically you need to go a little bit forward towards middle to be able to connect uh, with boxes you see so you can highlight them otherwise it's not gonna connect with them the tractor beam on atls and now we're just gonna quickly repeat what i say in the previous videos you know for atls uh you need to hold z to not move left and right with atls so you only move with looking left right and then you can place boxes wherever you want and now as you see here i am trying to determine where is the end of the grid forward and this 24 SU boxes they're gonna be placed now you see like from left to right so the whole length and this is how you're supposed to put the cargo in that's why we choose 24 in the front because you cannot put from left to right uh, 32 like that as you see now how easy it is now to put them even on top of each other because you have this whole hangar now clear and the boxes are not too wide to clip you know on the sides or on the ceiling so it's it's basically very easy to push them you know down the line through the whole you know cargo area in the c2 placing on the grid there on the same spot 32 su boxes it's a big pain and it's just a waste of time and they're gonna clip everywhere you're gonna hit the corners and you're gonna lose your nerves what is most important this way what you're seeing now it's gonna be much more easier for you and much more convenient right so you're not gonna have any problems if you just repeat the same procedure how i'm doing and even you see like if the box is a little bit glitchy or laggy you know just place them uh, exactly in the middle outside and then pull them back in you know so you can help yourself also like that i intentionally didn't speed that up so you're gonna see how much this takes you know in real time and you know how exactly this goes so it's not gonna be you know something unclear when you're doing this and now i'm gonna just go there so you're gonna see how this looks like uh, you know when you're close to the boxes and as you see it's you know eight of them so it would be the same thing if you put like six times 32 ACU boxes it's just different placement right it's nothing so special about it it's just pure logic now we're back in freight elevator and we're gonna now take the 32 ACU boxes so it's 14 of them and now we're gonna repeat this same process but we're gonna keep placing on the back side uh, of the c2 where it's that bigger grid we are back now in c2 on the same spot with our atls and now we're gonna start to place these 32 su boxes so it's gonna be the same horizontal placement from left to right because this is how you're gonna have the least problems to putting boxes inside i already set up here my blueprint to be normally horizontal like you see it here and now when you just left click it's gonna exactly place the box there right and now we're just repeating process so now when the boxes are uh, further away from us we're not gonna have any problems so as you see this is also real time it's not speed up but they can still sometimes hit the you know some side of the ship inside or outside when they entering through the opening of the hangar in c2 but uh, what is most important here to know is that box is supposed to be exactly where the ramp is of c2 you know in that direction but as you see the freight elevator is uh, you know wider so you have boxes on the uh, left side on the right side in the middle so it's much bigger than opening on c2 that means that for basically perfect correct placement to boxes enter c2 they need to be exactly how the ramp is placed so they're supposed to be in this area behind the ramp outside where actual ramp is not on the left side of the ramp or on the right 
And you can see here, this box is also gonna stuck a little bit. If that happens, you know, just remove it back down, just adjust a little bit the blueprint and just, you know, put it back on and it's gonna, you know, uh, snap on the grid. You see, now I'm showing here that this hydraulic, you know, from the ramp, it's again on, in the way uh, of my view. So I really need to go a little bit forward, like one step, and then I'm going step backwards. And now I'm placing the box. And now I'm gonna keep repeating this because I cannot, you know, connect my tractor beam with these boxes in the freight elevator. So I'm going like step or two forward, connect. Now I'm going backwards again where I was. And you know, now I'm holding uh, Z to just look and now the box is snapped. So this is how you can help yourself, you know, if you really cannot connect the tractor beam, you just go forward, but don't turn left, right. Just go forward, backwards, forward, backwards. Now we're gonna place the last four 32 SU boxes inside. And these uh, two, which we're placing now, they're gonna snap very easily, right? And the third one is gonna snap, uh, which is gonna be last on the bottom very easily. But we're gonna have a problem with the last one. And why this problem occurs is because now when you're placing the second row up, when you're so close, you're actually too close to the box. So now you're gonna see uh, what is gonna be happening now. So I cannot push this box up because like we said before, you cannot physically move the tractor beam up, down. So boxes needs to snap on their own, right? When you're holding them tractor beam and when you see the blueprint. So you see that doesn't work, you know, I can try more times, but it's not gonna allow me to place it. For placing this correctly, we need to stand, you see here outside the ramp, but you need to be uh, where the ramp begins to be just like two thickness of the big boxes away from that box, which is already placed on the grid. So why is that important is because we need to be almost the same height like it's the floor in C2 in hangar. Because if we are going lower and lower, the box cannot snap. So we are almost exact height and we are not too far. And now you see now the box easily snaps on. So this is how you load all these boxes. And also if you want to take with you the ATLS, do you know, to unload somewhere. It can easily fit still in this corner and you know you can always carry it here so it's not in the way of anything so this is how this all is done guys and i hope this is gonna help you to load your c2 if you have any type of questions you can always ask me in the comments below the video or you can join directly to our java scrap mining corp discord and we can you know discuss things there and you can always also join to my Twitch streams where I'm live every day, where you can also ask me in the chat whatever you need to know about Star Citizen. If you really like a lot salvaging and mining, you can always join us to play with us. Just join that Discord and we can always play together. I hope this whole information is going to be useful for you. So if you think that it's useful and it's informative and interesting, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. This is all from me now guys, till the next time, see ya, bye bye.